Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Brad from Surfing the Drone here. I've got the DJI Air 3 out here at the butt crack of Donnie. I'm at my parents' house. Um, I just did an update on this guy yesterday, the 1.006000 with the uh, augmented reality. Uh, with the uh, It shows like the shadow, and then it shows like the uh, augmented reality uh, trail of where it's returning to home. Uh, there was some other thing it added to augmented reality, something or other, but anyway, I wanted to check that out real quick and show you guys, so check it out. Alright, so there's the Air 3, and we've got a uh, permission to take off, so we're going to go ahead and take off. Put in the video mode, 4K60, go ahead and start recording. So if we look down, we should have like a augmented reality shadow. Yep, there it is. See that shadow right there? I zoom in on it. that AR shadow that's kind of cool kind of like the uh, Skydio so let's get this guy up in the air and turn it around the sunshine is the sun's just coming up over the horizon back here There it is. And you can see that home point on the screen. The H, the yellow H. So yeah, this is the new firmware. I guess it came out on the 25th of September. And I didn't even see it until yesterday, and I was all excited. <clears throat> so I just wanted to check this out. This, <clears throat> excuse me, the augmented reality home point, the uh, shadow. I saw some deer over here earlier. I guess they disappeared on me. Where'd they go? <clears throat> excuse me. Like there's a whole herd of them over here, but I guess they must have dissipated. <clears throat> so anyway, you can see the leaves are starting to turn. And there's that home point. Got that H and that dot, that's pretty cool. And then we look down, we'll see our AR shadow down below. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we're probably not close enough to the ground. So yeah, check out those fall colors with the uh, Air 3. I've got this in 4K60 in auto settings. I do need to get some ND filters for this Air 3. Usually at this point, Freewell or someone would have sent me some, but maybe they don't make any for this. They did offer me to send some for the 
Mini 4 Pro, but I don't have that one yet. <laughs> like, I don't know why they wouldn't offer to send me some for the Air 3, but oh well, it is what it is. I guess I can dish out my own money for some. If I have to. So yeah, check out these. The leaves are starting to turn here. They're actually going pretty quickly. Which kind of sucks because I know when I get home I'm going to have a yard full of leaves. So again, this is the Air 3 with a new firmware 1.00.6.00000. We've got that 04, this 04 uh, transmission system working pretty good. You see that? Got that home point on the screen there, which is quite quite helpful actually. Kind of like that. Happy October, everyone. It's the first day of October. It might not be the first day of October when I get this uh, posted, but... Close enough, anyway. <laughs> So I guess there were some other things that this firmware added. 48 megapixels and burst mode or something like that. Nothing that I would use. So this is going to be a quick video. I just wanted to show this new augmented reality deal I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do return to home and then you see that AR path that green path you can look down at it. it's pretty cool <laughs> it shows the home point and it has that green That green type of tube showing the path of where the uh, Air 3 is going to go. They put this on the Mavic 3 first, I believe. Now they're putting it on all the newer drones. I think the Mini 4 Pro has it. I'm still deciding whether or not to get that. I'm not really sure. I can't, there's not really enough changes on it from the Mini 3 to convince me and I'm pretty happy with this uh, Air 3 right now so <clears throat> didn't put down a landing pad so anyway there is the Air 3 coming on down that's pretty much a smack dab where I uh, took off. It's twitching a little bit because of the obstacle avoidance and all this stuff around. Right so there it is, guys, the Air 3. With the new firmware 1.00.6.000. Anyway, guys, it's Brad from Thanks for watching. Take care and bye.